Imagine there's no heaven. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the funniest instances of the boys going after high profile people during its first three seasons. Girls get it done. And cut a rehearsal, no one move. Number 10, Shia LaBeouf. I'm just stumping for my book. Deeper went awesome. I sent you a copy. Lots of celebrities publish books, but lots of those celebs are not writers themselves. So what do they do? Hire a ghostwriter, of course, which is exactly what The Deep does after his dealings with the Church of the Collective. You wanna know a secret? Deep claims to have used the same ghostwriter as Shia LaBeouf. Uh, it's crazy. But this isn't just any insert celeb name here situation. In fact, in addition to the many controversies LaBeouf has found himself in over the years, he was called out in 2013 for plagiarizing a comic while making a short film. Since then, LaBeouf has been accused of plagiarism on other projects and was even issued a cease and desist letter. Well, at least Deep has ostensibly gone through some legal channels. Oh, did you see that profile that Malcolm Gladwell did on me in The New Yorker? He called me the next layer remedy. No big deal. Number nine, Gareth Edwards. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, director. Big budget blockbusters often go through grueling production processes, and Dawn of the Seven is no different. Guess this means we're breaking up. Season three opens with the world premiere of the superhero epic, attended by the director of the film, Adam Bork. And it seems right. like all those reshoots paid off, my friend. Bork is the definition of a pretentious filmmaker. A studio stooge, if ever there was one. Title card, Dawn of the Seven, cut to black. And a self-deprecating one, as evidenced by his very intense encounter with Ashley in a bathroom stall. Ashley compels him to admit that Tony Gilroy had to shoot a lot of the movie for him. Thanks for coming. Yeah. This is clearly a reference to the Star Wars spinoff Rogue One, which reportedly underwent five whole weeks of reshoots under Gilroy's supervision, despite original director Gareth Edwards disputing the veracity of the claims. Really? Man of your talents? Number eight, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes was at one point one of the most famous and richest people on the planet. But despite all of his success, he suffered greatly in his final years living as an extreme recluse. This has been largely attributed to his struggles with obsessive compulsive disorder and germophobia. Does that look clean to you? It wasn't a pretty picture, that's for sure. Which is why Soldier Boy brings him up when discussing the soup known as Mindstorm. Howard Hughes without the piss jars. A former member of the team Payback, Mindstorm has the power of telepathy. However, in his post-suit days, he began to deal with sensory overload due to hearing everyone's thoughts and thus had to remove himself from society. I'm just trying to get away from the voices! I'm just trying to get away from the voices! It's a harsh dig, but not a completely inaccurate one. Number seven, Marilyn Monroe and John F. Kennedy. It's no secret that Homelander is a sexist pig. I am just so excited about what's coming. Of course, that's just a fraction of all the things wrong with him. But it's the reason that we aren't surprised that he goes where he goes here. You sing me happy birthday. In preparation for Homelander's birthday celebration, Starlight is tasked with leading a rendition of Happy Birthday. Fun, right? But because she secretly hates him, she sings it less than enthusiastically. To you, happy birthday. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Homelander, always one to correct others, tells Starlight she needs to emulate Marilyn Monroe singing for President John F. Kennedy, crudely alluding to their purported affair. Happy birthday, Mr. President. All we can say is that if Monroe and Kennedy were indeed having an affair, they still probably had more dignity than Homelander does. That's your backup. Okay. Number six, Sarah McLaughlin. Hi, I'm Sarah McLaughlin. If you ever channel surfed in the 2000s, chances are you've seen one of singer Sarah McLaughlin's PSAs with the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. In the arms of the angel. They consistently feature McLaughlin's song Angel overlaid with some truly heartrending footage of animals in need. They get the message across, but their sentimentality has made them ripe for parody. Will you be an angel for a helpless animal? Crimson Countess, another former member of Payback, has since become a singer and an animal rights activist. You know that chimps are physically incapable of crying, but that doesn't mean they're not crying on the inside. The two fields collide in the music video for Chimps Don't Cry, complete with ridiculous lyrics and mawkishness. Gotta sing this song for the real King Kong and show him what these apes are worth. It's entirely over the top, which is all we can ask for in a good parody. They can't cry.
Number five, Sean Connery. My name is Bond, James Bond. The late Sean Connery was undoubtedly one of the most celebrated movie stars of his time. But he was public about more than a few outdated beliefs of his. He'd been quoted on multiple occasions that hitting a woman under certain conditions could be justified, though he did eventually walk back those claims. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Obviously, he was wrong on several different counts, but it does make sense that a soup out of time like Soldier Boy would adopt some of his stances. When Huey tries to plead with Soldier Boy to save Butcher, Soldier Boy doesn't take kindly to it, threatening to go all Connery on him. You can act hysterical. I'm going to slap you like I'm Connery. Be careful when idolizing your heroes, kids. Oh. Especially if they're Soldier Boy. I warned you. Number four, Bill Cosby. Do men really walk around like that? Yeah, uh, dads do. Okay, well, <laughs> Bill Cosby is America's dad, and i tell you one thing, he would be caught dead in that gear. Speaking of Soldier Boy idolizing celebs, this one needs a lot of unpacking. Lots to unpack there. So much so that the boys can't get to it all. In case you've been MIA for the last decade, longtime TV personality Bill Cosby has received numerous accusations of assault dating all the way back to the 1960s. He was charged and eventually convicted in 2018. And the comic legend, once known as America's dad, now faces up to 30 years in prison. But this was later overturned for technical reasons. Still, Cosby has remained guilty in the court of public opinion. But Soldier Boy, whose sensibilities expired in the 1980s, clearly hasn't been caught up. That's a real man. The Boys doesn't directly reference Cosby's many accusations, but its level of comedic irony is palpable, and all at Cosby's expense. Holy shit, did he make some strong drinks. Holy shit. Number three, Gal Gadot. We're all in this together. And together, we can imagine a better world. Technically, this parody goes after all the celebrities who appeared in the cringeworthy Imagine Instagram video, but since actor Gal Gadot spearheaded and posted it, she tends to get most of the flack. Imagine there's no heaven. The video was meant to be supportive in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, but many criticized those involved for not understanding the horrible new realities of the average person. No need for greed and hunger. Brotherhood of Man. It was low-hanging fruit for the boys, which decided to replace Godot with the Deep and do pretty much the same thing. Imagine all the people. Also appearing are stars such as Patton Oswalt, Josh Gad, Elizabeth Banks, <laughs> Kumail Nanjiani, and Rose Byrne, making the barb all the sweeter. Oh, and the unspoken end card from Black Noir? Priceless. Number 2. Kendall Jenner In all fairness, the main culprit behind the Live For Now commercial is Pepsi itself, but since Kendall Jenner was the face of it, she gets top billing here. The ad sees Jenner walk away from a photo shoot to participate in a protest. And how does she bring everyone together? By giving a cop a Pepsi. The commercial was immediately called out for capitalizing on the Black Lives Matter movement and police brutality, which were at the forefront of public consciousness. This is important. Seeing as the ad missed the mark so much as it is, the boys merely replaced Jenner with A-Train and Pepsi with Turbo Rush. Throw in some histrionics and bada boom. We gotta listen to each other. Savage roast. A-Train's Turbo Rush energy drink. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Donald Trump The Boys isn't a show that's afraid to get political. Yeah, well, I am riled up. And it doesn't get much more political than going after former U.S. President Donald Trump. Category you are fake eight. news. Many, including showrunner Eric Kripke, have likened Homelander's rhetoric and behavior to Trump. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. Which seemingly came to a head in the fourth episode of season three. I am sick and tired of the lies peddled by the mainstream media. Appearing on a right-wing news show, Homelander all but uses the term fake news and warns of deep state influences, two things Trump has been vocal about as well. They operate in the shadows, and they are the ones pulling the strings. He 
later welcomes Latino superhero Supersonic with taco bowls. Seriously, we have the best taco bowls right here in the building. A reference to a controversial tweet Trump made on Cinco de Mayo. We could go on, but all the instances would need a list of their own. Bienvenidos, muchacho. Yeah, I don't really speak Spanish, sir. Did we miss any other times the boys made fun of celebs? I love Hamilton! The world loves Hamilton! Roast us in the comments. Smooth delicious so. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.